was 10th of May in 1901. The Royal Society in London was full with many scientists. They all looked eager as if they wanted to see some magic by me. I was nervous initially because everyone's eye was on me. But later I was confident because I was about to show them my discovery. Here I have two little plants of Mimosa pudica and I'll show you that plants can communicate and nature can communicate too. I have found out that there are some hidden signals through which they communicate. When I experimented on the plants, I saw modulation of electric signals in the plants caused by touch or any other external stimuli. I also observed that leaves react to electric signals which travel from the leaves to their stems. To prove my observation, I had to experiment and create Prescograph. With this device, I could see and validate the increments of a plant and their roots by 100,000 part of an inch. With Crescograph, I could get the detailed data measured. In my experiment, I kept two plants that received different treatments for a short period of time. I spoke to the first plant softly, while the other one I spoke harshly. After a few days, the first plant showed positive growth, while the other shown symptoms of weakness. With my invention of Prescograph, I could record these details and differences these plants were showing, which helped me prove my research. I also demonstrated the effect of poison on plants and I proved that plants do feel pain and can die when they are poisoned. Once I was in my lab and was studying Maxwell's wireless radiation theory. With this inspiration, I made a wireless receiver and named it Mercury Coherer. It was used to detect signals and convert AC radio frequency in DC signals. This was a glass pipe in which the outer layer was of mercury that floats on oil and on the inside there was a metal pipe. I then connected this with an electric wire and I received a wireless signal. I was amazed by this and I quickly showed it to my friends. That gave me a lot of encouragement. I was not fully satisfied with what I was doing in life. I only wanted to spend more time in my lab and keep on inventing things that could help the mankind and nature. I worked tirelessly on crystal detector, crystal radio and multimeter radio wave. The electromagnetic wave was a big fascination and an eye-opener for me. This could help to communicate with extremely high frequency waves, same as the radio waves. Hence, humankind will be able to communicate through these waves. This could also be used in military-based transmission activity. Jagdish Chandra Bose already had a big fame all over the world, but he still wanted to give much more to the world. In 1922, he was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society of Britain. J.C. Bose, till the end of his life, served as the director at the Bose Institute in Girid. He also proposed 
to donate his possessions to social welfare on 22nd November 1937. Bose gave away all his life earnings to scientific research and development. <laughs>